Alabama cockfighting scofflaw and his family are finally facing justice for their torture and mass slaughter of roosters for profit and entertainment. In August 2022, known cockfighter Brent Easterling and six other members of Easterling's family pled guilty to violating the Animal Welfare Act for animal fighting as well as illegal gambling. According to the plea deals, the Easterlings now admit they held illegal cockfights and that they raised and sold roosters specifically for cockfighting. Shark investigated the Easterlings' criminal operation before the federal government finally stepped in. This 2020 shark drone footage showed the L&L Game Farm, a massive rooster breeding operation owned by Brent Easterling, located in Verbena, Alabama. We also closely monitored Easterling's Facebook page, where he was very open about his criminal activity. In August 2020, we discovered that Easterling was planning a massive gathering complete with a barbecue. The purpose of the get-together was to develop a grand plan to overturn cockfighting laws. Shark released a video leading the cockfighters to believe we were coming to their little soiree. Hey cockfighters, how you doing? We're on the road again. Guess where we're going. Which drastically suppressed the turnout. The joke was on them though. Shark had no intention of actually going. Hi folks, Steve Hindy here for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness, reaching out to my cockfighting friends this morning. I guess by now you realize that we fooled you about coming to the barbecue in Alabama. Sorry, we couldn't resist. Brent Easterling and his family now face up to five years in prison and up to $250,000 in fines. Sentencing for the Easterlings starts on September 29, 2022. Brent Easterling will face sentencing on November 8th, 2022. We'll let you know how that turns out. Cockfighting is illegal in all 50 states on both a federal and state level. Besides the obvious animal abuse, cockfighting is a known conduit for illegal drugs, weapons trafficking, prostitution, gangs, and other crimes. The Easterlings' convictions, as well as the April 2022 raid of a cockfighting pit near Whitesburg, Kentucky, resulting in the indictment of 17 people, should be a signal to cockfighters everywhere. There's no more lurking in the shadows under the protection of corrupt local law enforcement. When the FBI steps in, the corrupt cops shielding cockfighters are powerless. To our cockfighting friends, the next cockfight you hold could be the one that gets raided. Whatever profit you're making off that fight isn't going to cover your legal fees and fines. If you are willing to sacrifice years of your life in federal prison, knock yourself out, but know that Shark is actively hunting you, and we are going to crush cockfighting. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help Shark help animals. Consider sharing our videos so other people can help us save lives. If you would like to support Shark directly, please click on our donation link in the description section. If you would like to gain access to exclusive content, please consider sponsoring us on Patreon.